those shrimpanzees? Butter. Look, mosquitoes. Forget. Uh. Oh, what's that over there? That's just a tomato. <laughs> Well, Hetty never saw this forecast coming. This past weekend, it was cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. And here to tell us if the movie is worth seeing is our movie critic, Will Loper. Hello, hello. 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 Thanks again. All right, so yes, uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, mm -hmm. sequel to the 2009 movie. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not quite as good. Oh. Um, it picks up right where the first movie let off, left off. Flint Lockwood, voiced by Bill Hader, and the rest of the gang, they leave the island of Swallow Falls where the Flint Lockwood Diatonic Super Mutane Dynamic Food <laughs> Replicator, or Slurs for short, has been turning water into food, except this time the food is coming to life and it's oh. going to invade the rest of the world unless they can destroy the machine. As I said, the movie's not quite as clever or funny as the first. You know, it's different writers and directors, which I feel like it had a lot to do with uh -huh. it. I felt like they were really trying hard, almost too hard, couldn't quite do it. Still lots of funny moments. I'm a sucker for good puns in this movie. Had tons of them, as you saw in the sound bite. Uh -huh. um, and I think I think the kids will enjoy it a lot as well. So. Okay. So yeah. what did you give this? Uh, I'm gonna give it 2.5 out of oh, five. You know, middle of the road. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm right now of leaks. Uh, they find a leak in the boat throughout the movie, and that pun just never gets old. So <laughs> I enjoy it. All right, so what is next? Next up, I saw Don John. Don John. Oh, Directorial okay. debut yep. by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He mm -hmm. wrote it as well, starred in it, and you know, it was actually pretty good. Uh, take a look at the uh, sound by here. I don't watch too many movies. The pretty woman, the pretty man, and they drive off into the sunset. Everyone knows it's fake. I love movies like that, you yeah. know? It's great. But they watch it like it's real life. Okay, so yeah, so Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he plays this guy uh -huh. who goes through the same routine every week. He goes to church, goes to the gym, meets yeah. his family, mm -hmm. meets some girls, takes them home every night. And uh, then he meets Scarlett Johansson, thinks he falls in love. Does he really? I don't know. Uh -huh. So it follows his struggles with life, love. He also has a porn addiction that he struggles <laughs> with. And uh, Oh, by the way. <laughs> yeah, by the way, yeah, just that as well. Uh -huh. And so... Um, oh, Tony Danza. Oh. Tony Danza plays his father as well. Oh, no so. Uh, a lot of times I was hoping the movie would go a little deeper than it did. It yeah. kind of mm -hmm. skinned the surface, but it was a breezy 90 minutes, and mm -hmm. a lot of movies nowadays are way too long, and I felt this movie was too short, actually. So, oh. But still, I, I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, it's my recommendation. So. Okay, and what did you give this one? I'm giving this one 3.5 wife beaters out of 5. Every time Tony Danza and Joseph Gordon-Levitt are on screen, uh -huh. they're both wearing wife beaters, and it's a character of their own. All so. right, and what's up for next week, Next though? week. Gravity and Runner Runner right. with Ben Affleck and Justin Timberlake. Mm -hmm. Huh. Wow. So <laughs> that's a lot that's, of stuff. That is, yeah. Okay. Packing it in. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Nope, Thank you, Will.